All right, let's trade the 33 That's nitro first. But if it survives that, then we'll figure more ways to blow this up. And we're not gonna ghetto fog it, I promise. I can't lie! All right, on this episode of It's Hard to Kill a 400,000 Mile 12 Valve Cummins, <laughs> Meyer and I have Papa Source the 410,000 mile 12 valve Cummins on the dyno. Keep in mind, how many miles did we put on it? 410,000, and you got it, and it's 410,000 and 500 miles, and you got about 410,000 even. So it's about almost 500 miles. We have 500 miles of dyno. You, like we burned a whole tank of fuel through this truck. We actually had to go fill we up had some, to go get more. some cans of fuel because we almost ran out of fuel. So all you do is take it off the trailer, go to the gas station, fill it up, and drive it on the dyno pretty much. So we've been doing a bunch of turbo testing if you watch these old videos, and we've had fun. Now there's something I've always, always wanted to play with, and this is the first opportunity I've had. I've wanted to put Traxxas Nitro RC fuel in a 12 valve Cummins to see what would happen. And so <laughs> Always wanted this, this episode is actually gonna be retitled, how to make 500 horsepower on a 12 valve Cummins. Now, Meyer, tell us what, what do you have in your hands? Well, oh wait, but first off guys, this episode is sponsored by Traxxas. <laughs> All right. I want you to know Trax has sponsored us by shipping this to our local hobby store, which well, then took our money to buy said product. So thank you, Trax. Yeah, absolutely. So what I have in my hand is some 20% nitro top fuel. I don't actually know what would, yeah. But mine's still, mine's 20% and his is 33%. All you right. You can guess who handed out the bottles. So we're starting with the 20%. We, then we're gonna go to the 33% and see what happens. Now, so, we're obviously not idiots. We're gonna cut this with water. We, no way would we inject this <laughs> be, full strength be, into the engine. That, that would just be, be retarded. Liar! You liar! That would be unconscionable. Unconscionable? I'm homeschooled. Unconscionable. Anyway, so stay tuned as we show you how to make 500 horsepower on a 12 valve Cummins with a stock turbo. <laughs> yep. What did the dyno show was max power? Max power, 482. 482. So that's what I mean. That's the same where we were. So it was much. was doing what four? 480. Four eighty. Before it was doing so it's about four forty eight. So it picked up not quite forty horsepower. Okay, let's see what the max EGT was. So in max power it didn't pick up as much as the tow tune. Fifteen hundred right? Oh, sixteen hundred right on the dot. 1600 around the dot. Okay, let me start answering that. 1600 horse right on the dot. 1600 DGT. Um, 50%. I would say it was 34 pounds of boost. So we picked up a little boost with that. 
So I wonder if the nitro is burning so long it's burning out the tailpipe with when it's flooded with diesel that heavy. I can smell though, you smell nitro in there? It smells different and the smoke is like gray instead of being like black. It like lightens up the color quite a bit. It might be wonder, that water so mixed in if, there. If that's the case then, if you advance the timing, you said sixteen hundred degrees because right? then it would burn all the cylinder and drive the turbocharger 1, harder. 1600 EGT right on the dot. How hot did it get? 1600. And it was cooler with the 75% alcohol mix and the, the lighter nitro mix. Right, but if it's all burning right in the manifold, that might be a false high on the EGT. Well, maybe we just need more alcohol to support combustion because there's so much nitro in there. We need to get rid of some of the water and replace it with nitro Dude, and alcohol. I would be curious to see what nitrous did with this. I mean, you added more Se fuel. Se Se you need more air. That's very true. Science. Okay, we're at. This is back to caveman. Stuff. Now we should do one more full power run with no stuff sauce, so we have a, a baseline. baseline on what it added. All right, so now we're going to do a back to back run with no injectables turned on, so that we can see because the wastegate's creeping down. I don't know if it's burning the turbine wheel, or if the spring's relaxing, or if this engine's going away. All we know is we're slowly losing power as we're going. So we want to do a fuel-only run now to see um, what it's to, to really quantify what the uh, injectable gain is with the nitro and the methanol mixed. So 440 was the baseline fuel only. So that means that the injectable run picked up 43 horsepower. Yeah. And as smoky as it is, it's actually not bad. So it must be advancing the timing a little bit because we're getting more burn yeah. in the cylinder because we're definitely kind of air limited the way it's running out the tailpipe. But it does have a little bit of a grumble when it rolls down. I don't know if the engine. All right, so more nitro, what do you think? Duh. Duh. Yeah. Okay. Up next, 75% .75 RC fuel mixed with 25% water. Should be more fun, more better. To power 401 horsepower um, and the baseline is 336 yeah. so that means it picked up 64 plus 1 65 horsepower gain that's not bad this must be what a gasser graph looks like <laughs> horsepower takes, and torque crossing no just looks like it, it constantly goes up and never knows it's down well it's a gasser now Pretty much is. It's gas. <laughs> this is a top fuel dragster. Top right fuel here. dragster, but oh, you smell that nitro? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's still going. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this engine hates us. <laughs> hey. hey, check this out. Watch this. Off the button. <laughs> it takes a minute to clear itself out, no big deal. A little nitro. All right, so now we're going to do a max power run. 401. Oh, we should do another tow tune, right? Another because, tow tune? Because we don't okay. know if it was fully bled out. Don't know if it was fully bled out. Okay. Horse power. One more EGTs. tow run. I get EGTs on the tow run. I'd say 1490. Really? Higher, right? Yeah. Want more fuel, more more heat. Okay. It's like boost was, you know, 27 pounds, 28 pounds. We are ready to One roll. more toe tune, and then we'll do max power. 
the goal is to get a 500 horse and we're not going to do it until we put a boost double in the turbo but if past history is any indication of future performance boost elbows and stock turbos equals blown turb blowers as evidenced by the turbos we've blown up on this truck truck just keeps going but it just keeps going it likes aluminum for some reason okay all right okay you want me to hit 20 right all right 20 pounds of boost unless you want to see more spool up then hit it early no one will know the difference done 13 60 on the floor in tuned mode 20 pounds of boost 25 Kind of holding 25, man. It's not really going anymore. 26, 27 pounds. What's crazy is that line, that pressure line, is just shaking. It's like that road, that spin nozzle, or whatever, is causing pressure spikes in the fluid. Three ninety-five. 395 and the first one did 401 so the heat <laughs> soak is worse for it all right well i think we figured out that uh what's that spike on the top is that the injection pressures pulsing which one right here the top dark blue line that's going up down up down up down right here yeah that's injection pro injection hmm. pressure that's pulsing oscillating yeah interesting so i'm saying that is line goes sucking, crazy is it sucking air down there oh it shouldn't be it's got plenty in it even one core is enough and it's got two cores oh, and it's tipped okay huh? so give it a little throttle i'll show you check out that line it's going to the wall give it some throttle so i don't kill it that's oh, not doing it i see it it's like that road do you now. think the switch is not turning on full power it's just engaging it and it's doing some sort of it's pulse width pump. modulation or something it's going straight to the pump no oh, there's no other way to yeah Okay, full power run. Full power mode engaged. Chicken out and let off early. I wanted to see what it would do. You chicken. Well, so sorry. All right. Meyer chicken out and lifted at about 3,000. 31. At 31. And look what it did to the graph, dude. That, that injection pressure just dropped. All right. What was the peak power number? Peak power the was. The YouTube folks want to know. 483. 483. So we made the same peak horsepower with 75% mix of RC fuel as we did at a 50% mix. I'll bet you if we put a wastegate or a little boost up on that turbo, we'll get over 500. You could try straight alcohol first. Mm -hmm. Even less boost. I wonder if we uh, hurt the turb blower or something. It only made 30 pounds that time. I hit a 20. Nothing blew up. Did the bottle suck down at all? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It sucked down like this far. <laughs> all right. What was the power number? How much power? 
We're getting it right 409. now. 409. 409. Is this the tow, dude? Oh. 336 without it, so it picked up 64 plus 9. 73 horsepower. I'm supposed to hit it, right? Faster felt. Think we picked up some power? <laughs> Five. All right, we picked up five horsepower. It felt like it pulled through the run faster. We're also used to tow tune though, so like. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that graph. Five horsepower. It is laying over on the top a little bit. Now compare that to a fuel only run. Let's see. I'll bet you it's the, the nitro and the alcohol is holding better. Yeah, I bet. Oh, I think it is. And I don't know if it's the timing because it's helping the diesel burn faster. Yeah, look at that. Wow, big difference on how the graphs are laying over. And that's by time. Go by RPM now. It'll look even more. Yeah, we go. We, we put boost in there. So it definitely helps it not. I'll bet you'd pick up, uh, you know, on this truck, probably half a second at the drag strip with that. I don't know how safe it is to run down the drag strip with straight nitromethane mixed with alcohol in your water injection system. Um, so what's next, the 33 nitro? Yeah? Okay. You know what they say, 33. something's good, more's gotta be something's more better. Something's good, more's <laughs> gotta be better. Guys, if this doesn't blow it up, we're gonna have to get straight nitromethane to get that content higher or more water injection nozzles. I don't I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Maybe we could do a run in like valet mode so it has minimal diesel just to start it and all the rest is just getting fogged in nitro. See if we can turn our diesel into a nitro. I think I that'd mean, actually be a really good does idea. Does this thing have windshield washer fluid? It sure does. I mean, <laughs> you got two nozzles built in. That's all I'm saying. We got two built in nozzles. I didn't even think about that. You could just wash it on the air filter. It'll suck it in. Or we could just run an open turbo and fog them into the entrance of the turbo. Tomato, tomato. Yep, that'd work. <laughs> all right, let's try the That's 33 nitro first. If it survives that, then we'll figure more Let's ways to blow this up. And we're not going to ghetto fog it, I promise. I can't lie! 20, you're getting after it. It's so crazy, you can't even tell, really. There's a lot of air and stuff going through there. <laughs> 403. 403. That's within two horse of what the other stuff did, right? Didn't the other stuff do 401? 409. 409, so we lost power with more nitro. Now, nitro requires three times as much to make the same beat to use as alcohol. And since we feel like we're fuel limited in our detuned mode, that makes sense. We were just hoping the timing advance or the longer power pulse from that. So I think what's left is straight methanol, right? Max power mode engaged. You're going to come in at 20 pounds of boost like before with the special sauce on the button. Okay, I'm at third gear, overdrive. Now I've locked the converter. 1500 RPM roughly. Or coast down to 1360. And I'm just going to get it and hopefully she don't blow up. What? I thought we were trying to blow it up. Like that's the mission is not accomplished. There you go. <laughs> all right, so Meyer, we've been battling this truck all day. We've learned a lot. Yeah, we have. But no matter <laughs> what we put in there, once it's a stout mixture, all we get is 489. I've hit like 
488 like maybe five times, 489 a couple times. I mean, we went straight alcohol, straight <laughs> methanol injection, straight everything, <laughs> straight RC fuel, <laughs> nothing works, straight 33 nitro fuel. I think we don't we, have any nitro in a jug. I couldn't find any locally, nope. so we couldn't try straight nitro. Yeah. We would have. We, we, we tried have straight water. We lost 11 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So there's only one person in the shop we know of that can, without fail, get to 500 or bust. <laughs> yeah. So Dr. Spray them all. Hi, guys. <laughs> We'll make it. Don't worry. This is Josh from YouTube. If you don't know him, <laughs> Josh from YouTube, Josh from YouTube has a special gift of, of ghetto fogging. Almost every vehicle the shop has been ghetto fogged by this man. And have you ever failed to deliver results? Nope. Nope. Never. So Josh, what's your honest goal? You saw much fuel. We are going to run the Traxxas Nitro full song while you ghetto fog this. What's your guess? Are we going to get to 500 horsepower? With the amount of fuel left over, I'm going to go 580. 580? Yes. Meyer, Dang. what's your guess? Gee, I, man, it depends on how much this guy sprays it, but I want to do 560 now. 560. I think we're going to get to about 550, and the turb blower is going to tur <laughs> be turb blown. I think the turbo is going to say, I'm no out more. of here. Don't worry. <laughs> safety, safety is number one priority. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. We'll see if we can get this going. <laughs> Guys, we hit the horn to see if Josh made a touch and he starts doing nitrous and idle. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we got oh my lock. gosh, that was perfect. We got the converter lock. <laughs> okay. I'll just stick it through the horn. He's thinking about one thing. Okay. You're not, you're not doing the run yet, right? Okay. You ready? <laughs> oh, wait. The breaker's off on the dyno. Oh. <laughs> All right, what do we hit? 617. 617 horsepower. That is how you make 500, I guess 600 horsepower. Skip the 500s, why? why <laughs> 12 not? valve with a stock grab. turbo. Okay, guys, 617 horsepower. Look, see, only a pro would know to keep the torque number down. That's with factory head gasket with those PDD head bolts, but you keep the torque number down. You can put nitromethane and nitrous in a 12 out at the same time and it lives. Should we go for the torque record now? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at the graph here. The one, can we clear? So what are what is this green number? Meyer, let us know. So going. green is horsepower. <laughs> Spiked up there pretty good when you go by it. RPM set of time. We don't care about time. Okay. Green is horsepower. So Peaked you can tell right the spray came in at 2,400 RPM. And look, that's where our torque peak was, not normal spot. <laughs> it peaked right there. And then the blue line is boost. So we picked up a bit of boost there too. 38 and a half PSI. 38 pounds? I think it could handle more. How do we get more nitrous in it? I opened the valve more. Oh, you didn't open it that far? No. Should, we, should we try one more? Or are you scared? I'm not scared. <laughs> we can't boom. What do you guys think? Should we try one more run? Yes or no? You better like this video because we're going to do one more. Thumbs up. Come on, guys. Any higher? A 630. We hit 504 uncorrected. <laughs> 635, baby. <laughs> Woo! I think that's all she's got, man. Oh, you smell the nitro? There's nitromethane in the air. I can smell it. <laughs> Dude. 
So this here, Popsaurus, this is the most indestructible 12 valve I've ever had. This thing has chewed up no less than three turbos that are still in the intercooler that we blew up with, uh, you know, cranking the wastegate to see what would happen. This thing has consumed, what, about three gallons of methanol at this point? Combined, yeah. Probably a gallon of nitromethane. What, 10 pounds of nitrous? Five? How many pounds did you get rid of it? Five? Probably three pounds of nitrous. It's burned up two tanks of fuel while it was in my possession. That's a record That's without weird. breaking. It's consumed one set of tires, one stock transmission. What else is broken on it? Nothing. We're talking factory U-joints. Yeah, that's it. Guys, I'm telling you, it is hard to kill a 12 valve. But stay tuned for the next episode where we're not going to intentionally kill it. We're just going to pull the engine out, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you have some sob story why you need this 12 valve, put it in the comments below. Maybe you'll be selected to win this uh, well-used 12 valve Cummins. Thanks, guys.